can call it a golden age uh, of uh, exploration. And it's actually the, the starting point of more to come because uh, we have got uh, a mandate. Uh, Mr. President Macron, the ministers of the ESA and the EU member states have asked me to install a high level advisory group and really assess the options of what Europe should do in human exploration. And uh, this is something uh, which will be a very important work. Uh, it takes uh, about a year and a half to, to put all the elements together. We will ask people who are not space experts uh, from uh, society, economists, historians, uh, uh, pol political uh, people, uh, and uh, see what they think uh, about uh, Europe's position and Europe's ambition of going to space, uh, possibly a bit more independent than we do today. And I think this is something I, I really want to put on the table. We need to discuss this because there's so much happening in uh, exploration. Uh, we see here in the US uh, there are many commercial companies uh, launching their own space station, their private space station. And the question is, what is Europe doing? And Europe has to be part of it. Uh, so what's next? Uh, what will happen is, for sure, that by the end of this decade, we will have uh, commercial space stations up there. There are about four uh, projects in the planning today uh, in the US. And the question is, uh, does Europe participate there? Does Europe have its own uh, independent solution? And this is a big uh, question that we need to address. Oh yes, uh, there has to be an ESA astronaut uh, on board of this rocket, actually first to the gateway and later on to the moon. Uh, we are negotiating with NASA right now to have European boots uh, on the moon, hopefully before the end of this uh, decade. Uh, but yes, if you see the, the SLS and you stand in front of it, uh, this is just fascinating, uh, seeing this huge uh, rocket, but also this engineering uh, jewel and this engineering marvel, which is uh, put together and sending people back uh, again to the moon. And this is uh, a dream for, for mankind, uh, for humankind. And this is something that is really, really fascinating. I would tell this new astronaut, uh, be ready for something very exciting, something unexpected. Uh, you will really open completely new frontiers, uh, not only stepping on the moon, but uh, on an area which has not been explored before and probably stay quite some time in order to really set up uh, the first elements of, uh, of uh, human uh, settlements uh, on the moon. And this will be uh, the beginning of a new era uh, and it will be quite different from uh, what we saw in the 60s uh, with, uh, of course, Neil Armstrong uh, putting his uh, foot down on the moon's surface, with, which of course has been the first uh, space race. But now in the second space race, this will be a, a, a much broader, much wider way of uh, exploring space either in LEO, uh, but also on the moon, and this uh, will uh, intensify and accelerate a lot in the next uh, couple of years.